My name is Rocío Robles. I'm dissemination leader of the project Diversify. And I'm also a scientist involved uh, mostly in the work with grey mullet and also in the product development in the socioeconomic uh, research area. Well, in the EU, the first one is salmon, of course, and uh, this is uh, a uh, freshwater marine species. Freshwater only is trout, and then in marine species we have well, all the Mediterranean species produced, like uh, sea bream, sea bass, which are the, uh, the major species produced. There are also sole production, tarbot, etc. Any uh, farm production can damage the environment. That depends how you do your farming. So farming has to be done in a careful and respectful way with the environment. In aquaculture, the uh, uh, producers normally, they are the first ones interested that the environment where they are working, where they are producing the fish, has the optimum conditions. So um, if you do a good management of your production, a good management of your feeding uh, of the fish, and you uh, select the sites uh, properly, there should not be a problem. It's a matter of uh, taking care of what you do. But as I tell you, the fish producers are the first one interested to be working and to be producing fish in a safe and good environment. No, not really, because uh, I mean, aquaculture is a very new industry, relatively new industry, if we compare it with uh, farming land animals. So it's true that uh, for pigs, for example, antibiotics were used as a growth promoters. This is not happening like that in aquaculture, especially not since the last uh, uh, years where it's much more interesting to eliminate antibiotics because don't forget that aquaculture fish, the fish is grown in water and water is a very good vehicle for everything, also for having resistant bacteria. So antibiotics are not really uh, the, the product to use in, uh, in culturing fish. It's much more interesting to try to uh, modulate and try to cope with the microbial environment where you produce your fish. And as I said before, the fish farmers are the, the first ones interested to have the fish in clean waters and not having any disease and not having to apply any kind of, uh, of chemicals. So for this, what is happening in aquaculture, which is a, a, a very interesting thing to do in uh, producing animals, is work in prevention. And uh, vaccination is a major issue in aquaculture production. So all the animals that are produced are vaccinated when they are small so that their immune system is strong enough to confront any kind of, uh, of uh, pathogens. So the use of antibiotics has really decreased drastically in the last year. And as I tell you, the tendency is much more to look for the uh, healthy microbial environment that is promoting the health of the fish.